OpenAI's Sora video generation model will be coming to Adobe Premiere Pro later this year. That's pretty big news. Take a look. Adobe is using the power of generative AI to deliver the most advanced and precise editing tools ever in Premiere Pro. Let's take a look at some features coming soon powered by our new Adobe Firefly video model that'll transform how editors work. One common editing challenge is finding something in a shot you need to add or replace. The object addition feature in Premiere Pro, combined with Adobe's Firefly video model, lets you add or change objects and footage with a text prompt. Make a selection, write a prompt, and add anything you can imagine. These diamonds were created by the Firefly video model currently in development. And not only can you add objects, but you can easily remove them too. Object removal with AI-based smart masking makes selecting and removing objects across frames quick and precise. Here, this distracting utility box is removed with Firefly. Remove unwanted props, crew or gear, or copyrighted elements like brand logos. And with Premiere Pro, all your edits are non-destructive, so you can always get back to your original footage. When your clip is too short and you want to hold on a shot or a character for an extra beat, Generative Extend intelligently adds frames with Firefly, extending your footage, so you have the exact media you need. Like here, where we extend this shot of the woman a few frames. As we continue to innovate, we're committed to transparency through the use of content credentials. Now coming to Premiere Pro, so you always know whether AI was used in the creation of the media you're viewing. We can't wait to bring these Firefly-powered video editing workflows to Premiere Pro later this year. And there's more. We're excited to share our explorations around giving editors the choice to use models that work best with their footage. Here are some early examples of how third-party generative AI models could look within Premiere Pro, like Pika, powering generative extend to make a scene flow better. From OpenAI, here's an example of their Sora model, currently in early research, generating B-roll for any scene. Through simple text prompts, Sora creates variations for you to choose from. Here's the same use case now using Runway AI's video model, generating a new video clip and adding it to the timeline in a snap. And content credentials coming to Premiere Pro this year will always make transparent whether AI was used and what model was used in the creation of media. To recap, Revolutionary features like Object Add, Remove, and Generative Extend, powered by the new Adobe Firefly video model, are coming to Premiere Pro. And we're excited to show early research explorations with our friends at OpenAI, Runway, and Pika, so editors have the freedom to use the best model for their project. It's Adobe Premiere Pro, supercharged by AI. Having Sora be integrated into various Adobe products is a pretty cool feature. And Adobe does talk a lot about responsible innovation. Now, Adobe recently was in some hot water because it seems that the ethical Firefly AI was trained on mid-journey images. The company promotes its tool as safe from content scraped from the internet. So if I understand correctly, you know, if this is the internet, the internet, and this is mid-journey, right? So mid-journey scrapes the internet and then here's firefly right and firefly scrapes mid-journey then yeah i mean i guess it is safe from content scraped from the internet technically sure now by the way right now there's a lot of uh, debate as to whether this is part of fair use or not a lot of people are making it seem like this is somehow illegal or that they're using copyright protected content that's still unclear this hasn't yet been legislated in courts in Japan, you're welcome to use, you're welcome to do this. They passed a law about this. In the US, it's still unclear. There's some bills being passed right now that will try to determine that. But currently training on other people's images, as of right now, isn't illegal or against the law. But once we have a few court cases that will try to settle this, it may become a liability, a legal liability to do so. But for the time being, everyone is scraping everyone. Make no mistake about it. With that said, my name is Wes Roth. Thank you for watching.